we have two sets, B with these two basis vectors for the vector space V, and there's the C with these two basis vectors for the same vector space. And we're trying to find the matrix that's going to be able to translate the coordinate vectors here into the coordinate vectors over here. And again, we're trying to sort of represent the same vector for both of these two. The point of this matrix here is that we're going to be able to take something like A, B, C, D, some matrix over here, and then we'll multiply uh, the two coordinates that we need from B. So we'll call it X1 and X2. That is using the B basis vectors, and then that will turn into the Y1 and a Y2 using the C basis vectors. Let's use these two equations that are given to us to figure this out. They're saying that this side is equal to this side. So if that's the case, then let's realize that we have one of these B1 vectors here. And then if we were to try to throw in the B2s, we would need a zero of those. And so we kind of have this coordinate vector on this side that says sort of like a one zero. This is using the basis vectors from B. And that's equal to this thing over here, which is, um, it would be like a negative four and the eight uh, using the C basis vectors. We could do the same thing for the second equation. So let's put one of the B2s here and let's realize we would need zero of the B1s. So this gives us this other vector here that would be like a zero and a one using basis B. And then that's gonna be sort of the same thing as using a negative three and a nine uh, from the C here. Now we can plug these vectors into this equation and we'll notice something like uh, this A, B, C, D, and then we have a one, zero, so using the Bs, that's gonna be equal to negative four, eight, using the Cs. And so we can clearly see how uh, like A and C is equal to negative four and uh, eight because one times A, C plus zero times the B, D is gonna be equal to negative four, eight. And so we've got the left side of the matrix. So let's go ahead and plug that in over here. Negative four and eight is the left side of the matrix. And uh, naturally this would be the right side. So let's just put negative three and nine right there because we basically have uh, the opposite right there. We got the first part of the problem right here then. We have the matrix that we're looking for. But now let's try to find the X um, with this C right here. And they've given us x's in terms of b's already, so let's figure out what that coefficient vector would be. It's going to be something like uh, negative 2 and then the 5. This is using the basis vector b. We're trying to figure out what that would be for using the basis c. And of course, we're going to use that same matrix we had before, so negative 4, negative 3, 8, 9. And if we try to solve this, it would be something like negative 2 and then negative 4, 8 and then plus 5, negative 3, 9. And then let's see what that would be equal to. It would be something like 8 uh, minus 15 on top, and then we would have negative 16 plus 45 on the bottom. So we can go ahead and plug in the numbers, negative 7, and then it's 29. So we've got both answers now. This is going to be our XC, so we can put that in over here, negative 7, 29, so there we go.